Imagine you're hiking through the most desolate area of the world. When this array is live, not only could you text, but you could also stream your favorite television show. Shockingly capable wireless communications is what SpaceX intends to deliver worldwide. Over the next five years, SpaceX is planning a grid over the Earth of 4,425 main satellites boosted by a supplementary network of 7,500 low-orbit satellites. Collectively, they'll deliver gigabit internet. Starlink is ambitious to provide a globalized network of internet access. The ultimate goal is to get affordable internet to every part of the world. As Starlink provides access and the remaining 40% of the global population comes online, the fundamental cultural makeup of the internet will change. Providing 4 billion people with access to the internet will lead to massive changes in digital culture. The company claims that it will have coverage in almost any part of the world when the number of satellites reaches 1,440 after approximately 10 launches. At the current pace that Musk's company is launching cargo into orbit, this should happen in the next five to six months. According to the statements of the CEO of SpaceX, Gwynne Shotwell, the company will be ready to officially launch the public beta test of the service with the participation of selected users in the USA and Canada. This will happen once the last batch of satellites reaches their final positions in orbit, which will take several weeks. Until now, orbital broadband access has been tested only by Musk officials, as well as representatives of the U.S. military, U.S. security services, and emergency response structures. Initial unofficial information indicates that even with its current limited capabilities, Starlink can provide a download speed of about 100 megabits per second with a signal delay of about 10 to 20 milliseconds. It is the low signal delay that is the main competitive advantage of the new satellite internet compared to the traditional communication satellites, which are in geostationary orbit at about 35,000 kilometers distance from the Earth. In contrast, Starlink orbits at an altitude of about 550 kilometers. Thanks to this, the network offers a low delay comparable to that of optical internet. It's possible that the delay is even lower because the signal will pass through fewer servers and also the speed of light in a vacuum is about twice as high as an optical fiber. The company relies on a number of satellites that are in low orbit, about 550 kilometers above the Earth, while the other satellites may be over 10,000 kilometers away. Proximity will play a major role in reducing latency. It'll also make it easier to maintain the giant network. Another problem that such low-orbit satellites create is that the huge number they need will sooner or later increase the amount of space debris orbiting the Earth. This is already beginning to worry scientists. SpaceX uses one of the specifics of low-orbit satellites to solve it. The company envisions a different period of life for the satellites, and they'll also have their own propulsion system. It'll allow them to maintain their orbit, but also to focus on the Earth's atmosphere when their life cycle is over. Thus, the satellites will burn in the atmosphere and will not clog the space around Earth. Even if the system doesn't work, the orbit is such that they will burn up in the atmosphere within one to five years. One satellite weighs about 260 kilograms, which is much less than the others. They have a flat panel design, and 60 can be launched at one time with a Falcon 9 rocket. As they stand in orbit, they gradually unfold their four antennas. They also have one solar panel to power. Their propulsion system has ion units, and they have several sensors to maintain their position with a high degree of precision. Each satellite also has a system for autonomously bypassing other devices and debris that are known and reported in a common database of the U.S. Department of Defense. The construction of the entire network will take years, and the exact number of satellites will still be specified. There might be more. Prices are also not yet known. Musk wants them to be popular, but even that will have a very different understanding in some countries. Subscriptions are expected to be below $100 per month, but not much below that amount. SpaceX's plans to develop Starlink are, to put it mildly, large scale. According to the permission that the company has from the U.S. telecom regulator FCC, it has the right to launch 12,000 satellites into orbit. In October last year, however, Musk's company filed a new license application, giving it the right to launch another 30,000 communication satellites. SpaceX estimates that Starlink will bring the company more than $30 billion in revenue by 2025. 
The main idea of owner Elon Musk is to use the money from high-speed satellite internet to co-finance the development and production of Starship, the spacecraft that one day will allow a manned flight to Mars and the gradual colonization of the planet. SpaceX's Starlink satellite internet service began testing in the United Kingdom, after which it received a license from the British Telecommunications Regulatory Ofcom. The license will allow Starlink to sell satellite antennas and other equipment in the United Kingdom. Starlink will be in direct competition with OneWeb's services in the UK and plans to deploy 1,440 of its 260-kilogram satellites in orbit by 2021. The company focuses mainly on the connection of rural, where the internet is unreliable or inaccessible. Starlink will charge its British customers £439 for a satellite antenna and other communications equipment, and an £89 monthly fee and a £54 delivery fee. The average internet speed in the UK is 64 megabits per second, but those in the rural regions are often lower. In November last year, SpaceX had over 800 Starlink satellites in orbit. Another thousand will be needed to make the service available worldwide. The company hopes to cover the largest part of the world this year. The internet has created so much wealth and prosperity and represents a powerful opportunity for new adopters to build a more resilient life. New business opportunities will arise. As the internet becomes available to the second half of the world, there is no doubt that massive business opportunities will proliferate. Entrepreneurs will ask questions such as, what services will these new users need and seek out? Undoubtedly, indisputably rapid and dynamic development is ahead in this increasingly technological world.